In this video, you will learn how to split your data set in a right way so that your target variable will have equal proportion of data in your train, test and validation data set. This way of splitting your data set is known as stratified sampling. In this way, your target variable is split into equal proportion in train, test and validation data set. I will show you practically the difference when you apply stratified sampling and when you don't apply what happens. Let import pandas as pt, import pandas as pd. I'll make one variable df. Now I'm going to read a CSV file and save in this variable. I'll write pd dot read underscore CSV. And inside this, I will pass my CSV file name pima dot CSV. Now let us look at the head of our data set. I will write df dot head. And you can see that this is our data frame. We have columns such as insulin, glucose, blood pressure, skin thickness, class. Now class is our target variable. It has two categories, zero and one. So it is our target variable. Zero means person doesn't have diabetes and one means person have diabetes. Let's look at the proportion of the zero and one in this target variable class. We will write df of class and then we will use the method value underscore counts and now let's execute our code you can see that this category 0 has 692 samples while 1 has 75 samples only this is a class imbalance problem because the class 0 has more samples compared to the class 1 and we can also check this in terms of proportion I'll copy this code from here I'll paste it here and inside this function value underscore counts I will pass one parameter and the parameter name is normalize is equal to true now here in the output you can see we got the proportion and we can multiply it by 100 now we can interpret it easily this class 0 has proportion of 90 percent and the class 1 has only 9 percent of values now when you develop a machine learning model on this kind of data set it is uh, it is known that this class 0 will be predicted more because the sample for this class has uh, has more in numbers and the class 1 has very less sample size now when you are developing a machine learning model, you have to make sure that when you split your data set, it gives you a proper distribution of this target variable in your train and test data set. And now we are going to see when we don't apply stratified sampling, how our target variable looks after splitting. Let's do the splitting first from sklearn dot model selection. We will import the train test split to split our data set and we will import this from sklearn.model underscore selection import train test and split now we are going to split this first this column values into x and y x will be our independent variables and y will have our target variable i'm going to make two variables x and y in x we will have all the independent variables and the independent variables will be insulin glucose blood pressure skin thickness and our y variable will have our target variable that is class i'll call x here and then i will call our data frame and then I will put a list inside a list and now I'm going to copy all these variables from here these are all our independent variables and I'll make one variable y and this will have our target variable that is this class variable I'll write here class let's say let us execute our code now we have this x and y and we can look here x so you can see that in x we have this columns insulin glucose blood pressure skin thickness and in y we will have just this class target variable now let us split our data set into train and test 
without applying the stratified sampling I will write x underscore train x underscore test y underscore train y underscore test and then I will call this function train test split and inside this I will pass our x and y then I will define the test size and let's say my test size will be 0.5 you can put any number here just for the purpose of this tutorial I am putting 0.5 or 50% but ideally we take 0.3 or 30% and the next parameter is random state and in random state you can put any number of your choice this is random state okay now let us execute our code now I have split this date uh, this two data frame x and y into x train x test y train and y test now let us look at the shape we have this x train dot shape so we have total 383 samples and four columns now let us look at look at look at the proportion of each categories of our target variable in traced and in train and test data set so first I will call this y train dot value underscore counts and then normalize is equal to true into 100 now in y train you can see that our target variable for this category 0 we have 91 percent proportion of data and for this category 1 we have 8 percent of samples now let us look at the y test i'll copy this code from here i'll paste it here and now instead of train i will call this test here and here in the output you can see there is a misproportion in this y train we have 8% for this category 1 while in y test we have 10% for this category 1 so there are more number of samples in our test data set than in our training data set and when you when you have this kind of mismatch so when you develop your model and if you have less samples for category 1 then your model will find difficult to predict category 1 because it will not get enough samples to learn the pattern that is why it is always better to have same proportion of target in both train and data set now we are going to see what happens when we apply the stratified sampling and we will see if we see this difference or the proportions are same now let us apply the stratified sampling and for applying the stratified sampling you don't have to do anything you just have to pass one parameter let me copy and paste the above function I'll copy this from here and paste it here now we just have to put one parameter I'll put a comma here after random state and then I will call the parameter stratify is equal to y y stands for yes now let us execute our code so we have done the stratified sampling here and now let us look at the proportion in this y train and y test i'll copy this code from here and i'll paste it here and here in the output you can see now the proportion for this category 1 is 9.66 and proportion for 0 is 90 percent and now let us also check in this y test and here in the output you can see the proportion for 1 is 9.8 and for 0 is 90.10 now you can see the difference between the stratified sampling and without applying the stratified sampling when you don't apply it your proportions are not in same they are not same or they are not equal you will have a different proportion in your train and test data set and it is not good because then your model will not be able to learn the pattern because in train you have very less amount of samples for this category one while in test you have more samples 
but in case if you are applying the stratified sampling you will get the same proportion in both your drain and test data set so it is always advisable that whenever you are developing a machine learning model you should always apply stratified sampling then your model will give you better results this video was about how to apply the stratified sampling while splitting your data set i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching